Hello, this is a review of the Cobra Invasion team from the G.I. Joe Retaliation line. Um, this is a three-pack that I got at Target for around 20 bucks. And in it, you get the Firefly figure, there's a Paratrooper, and a Storm Shadow. So, I already opened it as you can see, so let's look at the figures themselves. Alright, and just first off, I want to say this is my first review of the action figure, so it's probably going to be a little sloppy than what you're used to if you watch other G.I. Joe reviews. Um, but anyways, so bear with me. This is Storm Shadow, the ninja. Um, he, as you can see, I'm trying to keep him in focus. Um, he has all the regular articulation for G.I. Joe's and Cobra figures. He is in a white winter suit, I'd say, but, you know, he is a ninja, so... It's Storm Shadow. So that's a kind of a 360 look, I guess. Um, the only thing I noticed is the ankles are not as well articulated because his pants don't allow the foot to go back and forth all that much. A tiny bit, but I would say it's almost close to nothing. He does have wrist articulation, though. Like that on both arms. or Yep. And But the foot, though, of course... It does go back and forth though, so that's at least good if you kind of get him in a couple cool poses, double knees, you know, like I said, all that other regular G.I. Joe stuff. Um, he does have kind of an odd, I, I would call it odd, gray mouthpiece or something, but, you know, whatever, he's a ninja, I guess that's in or something. <laughs> um, he does come up with a very interesting, try to get some light on that, it's a quiver, and these arrows are actually built into it and it does come in two pieces you put it together and you can see the two swords slide in there get the light on that and let me put that back together um there are tiny pegs right here that look like you can put where did that arrow go right here that you can put this arrow try to get that nicely kind of like that you can get this nice arrow for nice posing and hey, all that fun stuff but it does fit in the back there, if you want, I guess. Like I said, the swords, let me flip them around. They slide all the way out. They need a little convincing to get in there, but once they're in, they do hold. They're, you can, like, you know, he's, it's not coming out. And that's pretty much it for Storm Shadow. And he does come with this compound bow. It's a very cool, interesting... I don't know if I would call it futuristic, but it's a very cool weapon for him to hold. Alright, and next I'm going to look at the Cobra Paratrooper. He does not come packaged with this tactical vest on. He actually comes with this um, parachute. I don't know what you would call it, like parachute ripcord, I guess. You know, they wear it when they jump out of airplanes and stuff. But um, I put it on him because I like the look of this one a little bit more. Instead of just uh, him having these things hanging off him while he's walking around or shooting pe at people and all that stuff, shooting at Joe's. But, um, I don't know, he's a great looking figure. Same articulation as Storm Shadow, except he does actually have articulation in his ankles, so that's nice. Um, very nice detail on the back here, even. I'm trying to keep this all in frame. It says Cobra on the back, and there's actually a walkie talkie that you can take off which I'm not going to try to put that back on. And there's a nice kind of Cobra insignia. I'll try to get that in focus for you. I'm not sure if that's even doing it, but you guys all know what that probably looks like, right? Um, he comes with a nice gray hood, and it is sculpted kind of funny, like right here, but it's not that big of a deal, you know? It does restrict his head motion a bit, but... I don't know. For cool poses, you can figure stuff out without that, I'd say. And um, the main gimmick with this guy was he came with, let me try to get this all in here, was this awesome parachute. It's, looking at the box, I thought it was going to be like a um, grocery bag, like plastic uh, parachute. But no, it's actually a nice like fabric Cobra parachute, giant symbol on there. It has, like, this little black cord string. And the cool thing about this, I was actually playing with it a little bit ago. 
Where did his ripcord go? It actually has like the little buckles on there. And what you do when the figure is in it actually, you just plug them in like this. And it is a soft enough plastic where it's kind of, um, what, I don't know, flexible. It's really flexible. But when you want, you can just pop them out like that and then you're ready to rock and go shoot some gels or whatever. So let me get that out of the way. And with the paratrooper, he comes with instructions. You know how to take off his head, put on his other tactical vest, which I had on that one, and then um, how to wrap him up, prepare his parachute, and toss him into battle or wherever you whatever you want to do with him. So um, his gear he came with was that walkie-talkie I said that clips onto the back of him. Of course, the that we all know that he came with it. Um, this gun, I'd say it's a Scorpion, but I'm probably wrong. It has a cool little foregrip, and I'd say that's an extended mag, I don't know. And at first I thought this was a pistol, but I'm kind of guessing it's a Taser, since he looks kind of like an urban soldier, and I'll get to that in a second why I think that. And I have no clue what this gun would be. Hold it from the other end. I don't know, it's just a funky cool Cobra gun, I guess. And actually, he comes with this great little uh, helmet. I think it's called like a Mitch style helmet. You can take it apart like that. Let me put him on him. Look at that. Maybe I get a little bit more light here. So you can put it on him like that with goggles. You can take the goggles off. They're removable. You know, so you can have just that. And what's the cool part, what I had on here before, is this gas mask type face shield thing. I don't know what you'd call it, but... And of course, now I can't get it in there. It kind of pegs real gently in there. But once it's on the figure's face, it holds in really nice. And you can, or what I've been doing is just slide it in on top there and... Try to get it in focus. Yeah, so he looks really cool, and that's why I think he's kind of like an urban, like if they're using gas, tear gas, flush out civilians, you know, get some attention or something. I don't know what they would be doing, but very cool figure. He's one of my favorite guys in this pack. And that's it for him. The coloration is pretty nice. I like it a lot, the gray and the red. All right, and the next third and final guy is Firefly. Um, our explosives expert, he, this doesn't, this knife doesn't belong there, but I was just kind of playing around with him, but he does come with two of these little knives, and trying to get that there, little gray knife for Firefly, and his other one I already stuck in here, in his little sh uh, sheath, it fits very nicely, kind of snug, tight fit. And, um, on his holster here, you can see there is kind of like a C4, um, kind of like a pipe bomb. There's three of them together. The detail on it's pretty cool, if I can actually get it in focus. Some red, <laughs> I can't speak, some red wires with like a timer on it. So it's kind of like a cluster uh, pipe bomb. And he has one that just pegs on right in the front. Kind of hangs off of him like that. And he's got one on the back. On the back of his holster. Chest holster maybe we could call it. I'm not entirely sure. Four grenades right here. Very cool. Um, what is sculpted into his foot. If I can move his arm. Um, th I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a flashlight. So that's kind of cool. I would imagine him crawling through air vents or something. Small spaces to blow stuff up. So that's pretty cool. Same articulation, of course. Wrist articulation too. Ankle, uh, double knees. Very standard Joe stuff. Um, the other gear he came with was this backpack. Or, I don't know, battle bag something. It's actually hollow on the inside. But if you take off one of these explosives. Let me throw it off there. Clip that on the back. He has his backpack on. And that's what he's going to carry all his gear. And 
I don't know, explosive devices, explosive supplies. And I'm guessing you could probably throw these bombs in there and you could carry it around just fine. Or his knife too, instead of doing what I did with him. But what's very cool with this guy, Firefly, is the coloring, I think, is is just really cool. Um, kind of like that stealth, I don't know. He blows stuff up. One of the coolest guns I think he comes with. I forgot to mention his pistol in his holster right there. So that's a very cool touch. I didn't even realize that after I took it out of the package until about, I don't know, like two minutes ago. But anyways, this shotgun looks like it has a red dot sight foregrip right under my finger. And if I flip it around here, it has... Oh, no, it was going to get blurry. It has, like, these little engraved shells on the side here. So that's very cool. And the thing about Firefly's guns I've noticed, I'll show you on the other one, these little tiny um, plastic shapes, I don't know what I'd call them. When you, put them in the, when you put it in the hand, maybe I can do it real quick for you. Um, when you put it in his hand, it fits so nice and very snugly, snugly, um, very tight, and he doesn't, of course, he doesn't want to hold it how I, I want to show you, but his thumb gets right up in there. If I can, his, his pointer finger is, of course, on the trigger finger, I should say, fits right up in there, and his thumb rests right up against the handle. So, it's a very interesting, it's a different kind of gun, I think, to see with a G.I. Joe, a shotgun. You don't think, you know, they all carry around machine guns and stuff. But the other one I was very proud he came with was this grenade launcher. It's a very cool, very detailed looking weapon. Pretty neat um, color, too. Matches with his gray, of course, which is cool, but, um... It's nice to kind of see, I wouldn't mind more weapons being gray than just the standard black. Like here's that urban paratrooper, you know, you guys know what black weapons look like, I'm guessing. But um, that's pretty much it for them, I think. I think I covered everything. Um, Of course, they all have peg holes on the bottom of their feet, so if you have dioramas or just collecting them and putting them on shelves, whatever. So that's it. And that was my first review for any G.I. Joe Cobra uh, action figures. Um, just trying to help a buddy out with his YouTube channel, trying to get some trafficking through just YouTube stuff. Check out his stuff out, too. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And the I found these guys at Target for about 20 bucks. So if you're really interested in them, I would definitely pick them up. Because out of all the three, I'm sorry, but... I do like these guys a bit better than Storm Shadow, than Winter Jacket Storm Shadow. Alright, thanks a lot guys. Tune in for more maybe.